It's a little bit colder here than it is in West Palm for these guys right now. All the way from West Palm, we can get a lift kit for Christmas, you know? That's always a good vibe. It seems to be that everybody wants to get stuff done right before the holiday, and Christmas is no exception. We got this 2015 to 2018, 19 body style Tahoe. Getting a nine inch lift and some 26 by 16s today. Ooh, it's got the Cadillac tail lights on it. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Got the train horn on the back already? Okay. Okay. Okay, where's your energy at? It's cold, bro. Get the f***ing energy up. I made a video a couple weeks ago talking about how people love to try and get things done right before the holiday and it just kind of bottlenecks everything. And we've got like three or four lift kits scheduled every day this week or something like that. And everybody likes to cram it in right before the holiday. And Christmas of 2023 is no exception to that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chewie, how you feeling today, buddy? Bien, 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 bien. So our black Tahoe is getting these 26 by 16 Amanis with the custom powder coated floating center cap. These normally don't have the black accent on it, but I think the black Tahoe, a little bit, just a little bit of an accent piece on there is really nice. I had somebody flaming me in the comments about spinning the cap off the damn wheel on a truck the other day because I was just sitting here just spinning and spinning and spinning it, but I don't care. I like the floating center cap. But we're building something very similar to what Jake's got right now, 26, 16, 35, 15, 50 and a nine inch lift kit. Ooh, I knew it was coming. here said he put it into a uh, said he put his ram into a median this weekend so he wanted us to check the alignment but I'm gonna throw the ram into the video for you guys because I always have people in the comments that are always throwing a fit because I don't film Fords and Rams so here you go here's your ram content for the video all my ram people and my Ford people drop a comment because this one's for you who's this sweat you make it through the door athlete He's young. What is this trash? Nice. Is it cracked? It was cracked. Was cracked. No, no, no. Barry done fixed us up, baby! Always. What you got there? I don't know. Whatever you want. Did you know that Fury has a total tire protection plan for all people that buy Fury tires? I'm broke. From authorized dealers I'm and broke. retailers? Did okay. you know that? This is true though. Fury Anvil tires. Anvil Fury for everyone. That's not, that's not their slogan, but okay. Fury tires are the best though. Start saying it all no, don't start with me. No, don't start with me. Furies are the best. Don't start with me. Did you see my episode of Tread Talk? No. Are we watching it at the shop? We were watching it together. You're right. You're right. Humbug, I guess. Uh, here we go. We got a package in the mail today from, uh, doesn't say from who. Gift message is under the shipping label. It's from Menu Che. Menu Chi? Menu Che? Is that like a. I have no idea. Is that a play on words? I hope I'm not setting myself up for one like they do Ninja on the stream. Um, it's a wine country gift basket it's for Jake and Alex. Let's see what the. Let's see what the note says. Yeah, the guy who's telling the story. Yeah. yeah. Happy holidays, KG1 Ford. Right. I knew it. I was getting a little scared there for Put a Put that over there by the JTX package. I'm not going to lie. That's a joke. Yeah, JTX sent us a, a bigger box. It's KG1. Chocolate. Ghirardelli. Exactly what we need. Fire. Yeah, we don't need this up here. I'm already... <laughs> but you know that we're gonna just 
Thank you. Indulge. Thank you, Josh and Andy. One, best team in the nation. We love you guys. Thank you. Ooh. Magic, Josh. It ain't gonna happen. Don't dump my drink out. I want that last drink. You ain't got enough in it. Do it with a water bottle if you think you're good. Oh really? Okay, I didn't notice the exhaust. Uh, I guess uh, maybe I did. I don't know. Anyway, so we we built this truck. What was it? Last week? And it feels like a lot longer than that. 2015 F-150, the beautiful white color, 2614 axes with the 37 inch Furies. If you're running big wheels, you gotta have Furies on it. And that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chrome front cross member from FTS. He swapped out the grill, so we got a chrome grill. Show me the lights on it, come on now. Show me the lights, gonna hit the button for me, yeah. We got the light up forward emblem on the front. We got the chrome F-150 plate on the front. And then he, you, you switch the exhaust, right? Here, let me hear the exhaust. Rough Country exhaust on the dang thing. Little, little, little rumble to it. Little rumble to it. Nothing crazy. See, that's 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 not bad. That's not bad. It's enough to where you hear it, but it's not loud and crazy. It won't be anything like mine, which will probably get annoying to me. If you guys haven't seen the most recent video on the channel, make sure you guys go check it out. We built this last week. The full build video is on the channel. I always appreciate you guys for coming through, showing love. One of my local people, and I explained it in the video, we show love to the local people. I love you guys. Let's get this bread. Beautiful F-150 up here at the shop today. What they drop off for us? How's that pizza been? They dropped off free pizza for us. Look, can y'all see right, right through the door? You see the boxes of pizza in there? Shout out to Clint from ATD for dropping. Domino's. Domino's ain't shit. Me and John's ain't shit. Me and Domino's have a very special relationship, don't we? Mm -hmm. I can't say it on camera, but me and Domino's, we got some history. <laughs> KG1's dropped off today. 24 by 12 KG1 Primacy. I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing for you guys here in a minute. Why not? We got a bunch of stuff up here at the shop today. It's gonna be a busy week. How'd you know? We need that money. Yeah, we got two or three lift kits scheduled every day. We got a six inch lift scheduled on a new body style Tahoe, which is cool. We got a F450 getting a six inch lift. Jonathan, shut the f up! Sweats over there. We got all kinds of cool shit. That's my point. That's the point that I'm trying to make here. Bro, looking like bro shut. Where my bro, shut the f up, bro. You said you already had that earlier. No, I didn't. Bro, he is sweating, bro. You're like a freaking customer, just sweating over there. Bro, you don't get to deal with it, I do. I work with the man. He sweats out here all day, doesn't he? All day. Anyway, 24 by 12 KG1 Primacy with the shallow cap, no floaters this time. KG1, always a solid wheel. Primacy is always a solid choice as well. It's gonna look really good. I'm trying to get done. Hurry the, yeah. hurry the yeah. then. Oh my gosh, that's nicer. <laughs> You should've been done with that lift kit hours ago. I can't find my shit. Okay, all right, here we come on. <laughs> Do I need to come find your? Where's my drive test station? You should've had it already. Shit. I got a front diff. Jeez. You didn't even put the front Freaking sweat, bro. You are just sweating out here. Probably not. Chocolate meat. I uh, a 30 yard chocolate bar. Pretty good from. Somebody sent it out. A gift from KG1. Say thank you, KG1. Thank you. 
Got the Tahoe finished up today. Got to do a little bit of trimming, a little retort, a little test drive tomorrow. Thing's looking crispy though. That thing's looking crispy though. With them wheel lights though. Let's go! I gotta push my box in. Post some motivational shit on Instagram. Motivational, bro. Yeah. You like, like shit. Bro, oh, y'all pushing or pulling? I'm pulling on this time. Y'all gotta watch him on the lift, too. Yeah, hey, you gotta watch me on that side. He's clear on my side. Come on, dude. Let's go. Can't see that side, bro. I'm pushing this bitch on my damn stuff. <laughs> Uh, like a six inch lift. It's way too early for the phone to be ringing right now. Look, we finished up the Tahoe yesterday. We've got like six or seven trucks already in the parking lot this morning. I've got a set of GM, uh, silver GMC that's on a big lift kit. I got a red GMC that's about to get a lift kit. And I got the 2023 or 2024, I don't know which, probably 2023. 2024 black f-350 that's getting the striker lift this morning so that's first on the list today it's a tahoe straight into the black f-350 i'm gonna s uh, we don't have wheels and tires here there's no wheels and tires in the back of the truck so i'm assuming it's getting 26s or something but just maybe not while it's here does anybody know what the difference between the 2023s and the 2024s is bro Bunch of sweats out here this morning. I don't know if I like that 24 front end though. A lot of people like the newer one better or the older one better. up our Tahoe this morning and this has been one of my favorite builds that we've done in the last couple of weeks because it kind of brings me back to a time when 26 by 16s and 35s are kind of taking over the end. I do really think that they're one of the better looking setups on really any truck as long as you do the big enough a big enough lift kit. 2017 Tahoe 26 by 16s and the 9 inch Magoys lift. When you're doing a truck like this in my opinion the Magoys kit has to be the kit that you do. That 9 inch on these Tahoes gives you the perfect amount of height to be able to run such a big wheel and tire we got your 26 by 16 Amani's I don't remember which wheel it was it's gonna bother me that I don't remember Jake would have remembered if he was here but the floating center caps with the black logo is just the perfect little touch the spike lug nuts you got the beautiful 26 by 16 polished Amani wheel and then your 35 15 50 26 Fury MT1 the MT1 is definitely the better tire better looking tire in my opinion but that new MT2 that's just come out recently is is a killer tire as well that black that black with the machine action Accent McGoy's kit's always going to be one of the best lift kits that you can put on these trucks. Gloss black is super nice. You got the milled accent pieces that gives it just that little bit of that billet kind of show trucky look without having to go crazy with all the accent pieces on the rest of the lift kit. The one thing that I wish they did change, I'm not going to lie, is the older body styles, 14 to 18 don't have the milled accent pieces on the compression strut on the front. And then when you do traction bars as well, they don't have the traction bar piece as well. But they do come with this really nice black bracket to drop down the four link in the rear, which is nice. You got a little bit of a look back there. The 2616s obviously are a beautiful look on this truck. You have to do a decent amount of cutting to make them fit with the 35s, but on this body style truck, it is super easy to make it look good. We do some trimming on the front, kind of follow the body line down from the front, and then obviously, you, you know, depending on the truck, we clean it up with, with either, you know, door trim or, or black paint or anything like that. Push the fender liners back, make sure it clears. Something like this, when we do the 9 inch and 16 wides on 35s, there is no scrubbing once it's done. You can drive it full lock, reverse, going over bumps. I mean, you could off-road the damn thing if you wanted to, and there's no scrubbing.
scrubbing on something like this. These guys are from South Florida. They drove in, dropped it off Monday at eight o'clock, and it's about Tuesday midday, and they're already gonna be out of here, which is super crazy to me how consistent. Huge shout out to the guys in the back for doing such a consistent product and being able to throw lift kits on so quickly and correctly with no issues. We do recommend a 500 mile retorque after doing something like this, but I just, I love that look. And it is crazy how good the truck rides after something like this. It doesn't ride like crap. It rides even better, in my opinion, than what a factory truck does. How wide it is, you don't have that body roll while you're going around corners with the cool springs in the back. But really nice little accent piece, in my opinion, to this one, because you got the big chrome wheels is the chrome grill on the front. And obviously, most of these trucks come with your, your chrome uh, emblems and then the trim around the windows. One extra little piece. I'm going to come to this side because it's a little shadier. We do got the rock lights and wheel lights on this one that you may be able to see out here. Probably not. We had it. There's a clip in the video somewhere. I think having the big polished wheels, you got to have rock lights and wheel lights just because it shines off the side of the wheel, which is so cool to me. So wheel lights on the big polished wheels definitely is the way to go. A little more maintenance with the wheel lights in my opinion because of the brackets, but the new rock lights from Infinite Off-Road are absolutely killer as well. It, great warranties with Infinite Off-Road. That's kind of why we run these over here, but I mean, I, very rarely do we have issues out of them in the first place, but let me know what you guys think. 26 by 16 Amanis, 35s with the nine inch lift. I really don't think it gets much better than that right there. Front of our 2024 is done. We're actually gonna take the 26s and 37s off of this 2023 or 24 with the white and polished striker lift. These black ones are going on the 24 that's in the shop right now. And we're gonna put the stocks coming off that one back onto this one before it gets new wheels. So it'll be really cool to see these on the black truck. It's got a black striker with the black 26s. I do really like the white and black. And I told Adrian that I really did like the way this white and polished looks together. So we may have to do something like this very soon. The white and polish looks really good. Hey. Huh? I need, a, I need that to release. I need it to let go. I need that tire to go down. You might have to let down on the jack a little bit. Trying to talk your shit or what? Yeah. 6.30 and the guys wanted to stay to make sure that lift kit gets done. So let's see what they're doing. Get this gets the stocks. Black one gets the 26s. John, let's go! Shut up and do something. You better go back to math class. Work, back yeah. to math class? Why? Number 28. 28s? Is it really? Yeah. I had no idea. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought they were 26s. I've been out of the game too long. I just need to retire. That looks really good. Look, black on black on black. Oh, yeah, you said black on black. Ha ha ha. Black on top, number four. Bro, Leonard, are you gonna finish this lift kit tonight or what? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what did you just say? Something that's gonna get bleeped out. Why? You ain't got no balls. No balls. It's definitely getting bleeped out for Why? sure. Cause I can't put that on YouTube. It's not family friendly. It's too big for the hole. And that thing looks good. I didn't know it was 28 the whole time. 28, 38, six inch striker. A six inch striker is a lot taller than like a three and a half inch ready lift. I think it looks really good. Striker with the four link in the front. What? Why? It's after hours. We get this bread any time of day, bro. Any time of day. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> A 
24 F-350 got picked up a little while ago. It's getting transported out of state. Tahoe obviously left yesterday as well. I wanted to end the video off by giving you guys a sneak peek of Jimmy's new truck. This will be back up here tomorrow. There's definitely some finishing touches that need to go on it. But if you guys made it this far in the video, I love you guys. For making it this far in the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys check out the most recent video after this one on the channel. It will be Jim Jam's reveal of his new truck. I love you guys. Let's get this bread.